There are two kinds of people in the world, those who hate Excel spreadsheets and those who love them. Welcome to DeskTime's YouTube channel. Today, we'll show you how to use the DeskTime Exports feature to export a variety of data into Excel or CSV files, which you can then use to analyze your and your team's productivity, efficiency, and more. In this video, we'll show you the different types of exports you can generate and what type of information you can get out of them. But before we start, let me remind you that we add a new video every week. So don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest desk time features, productivity news, and time management tips from highly effective people. Now, back to exports. You can access this feature from your desk time dashboard. Simply log into your desk time account and click on exports on the left-hand side. There, you can choose the data set you want to export by clicking on one of the options. Let's take a look at the different data sets you can export and what kind of information they provide to you about your team or specific employees. Data set number one, team members. The team members export file will contain information about your team members' working times, arrival, leaving times, as well as their productivity. As you create the report, you can select the specific period you want to see this information for, such as a month, a week, a day, or you can select a custom period of time. By exporting and checking this data regularly, you can identify your most productive and unproductive employees, identify problematic team members who regularly come to the office late or leave earlier than they're supposed to, identify employees who work longer hours than assigned or on the contrary, employees who don't work long enough hours. In short, this export allows you to keep an eye on employee attendance and to make sure that they work at least the number of minimum hours required. Data set number two, applications. The applications export file will include data about what programs, apps, and websites your team members have used during the specified period of time. You can choose to download this data on certain employees or the entire team, depending on your needs. This data will help you identify the most used unproductive apps within your company or team so that you can limit their use during work hours if necessary. You will also quickly notice the reason why certain employees are underperforming. For example, you might wonder why someone cannot deliver their projects on time, but then discover from the export file that this person spends an excessive amount of time on Facebook or private WhatsApp chats. As a manager, you might want to have a conversation with this employee to address this issue. Overall, the application export is useful for business owners and managers who want to make sure that their team uses their office time effectively. Dataset number three, document titles. If in the applications export, you can see what websites and programs your employees have used, the window titles export shows you exactly what pages the person has viewed or what documents they've worked on. So what's a window title? It's that little text that appears at the top of your web browser or program when viewing a certain web page or working on a certain document. The export file will include all the pages and document titles your team has worked on. Such data can be useful in many cases. For example, time spent on YouTube can be time spent both productively and productively. Simply scroll through the window titles export and you'll get an idea of how it's used by your employees. Either it's used for learning new skills or watching cat videos. That way, you can make a decision to allow or restrict YouTube use at work. Similarly, this export will show you what documents, and those can be Word documents, Excel sheets, Illustrator files, etc., each of your employees have worked on and for how long. This will help you understand how effective your employees are, as well as see the scope of certain tasks so that you can use this information when allocating time to similar tasks in the future. Data set number four, offline time. The offline time export will include data on how much time each of your team members has spent away from the computer and for what reason, whether that be a meeting, business call, training, or just a very long coffee break. Bear in mind that desk time automatically detects idle time. The reason for being away from the computer can be either added manually or logged automatically from your Google or Outlook calendars if you use that integration. With the reason specified, this time is considered offline time. You can use the offline time export to get a picture of how effective your team is and to implement new rules if necessary. For example, it's been found that every year up to 37 billion US dollars are wasted on unproductive meetings. In the offline time export, you'll see how much time your team spends in meeting rooms, and if it's too much, you might want to introduce new meeting policies in the company. Data set number five, projects. The projects export shows what projects and tasks have been worked on in the selected period of time, along with their costs, 
that's if you use the desk times project costs feature. Additionally, there are two related yet separate exports that you can use for a more detailed insight. So one is the projects plus team members, which shows which employee has worked on what project and for how long. And the second, projects plus apps, which shows which programs, apps, and websites have been used when working on a specific project. Projects export is one of the most popular data exports as it allows project managers to understand the scope of their projects, which is helpful when planning time and human resources for similar tasks in the future. Additionally, for project managers who are in charge of many projects at the same time, this export shows which projects are underway and which projects haven't been started yet. This simply allows you to see the whole picture be in control and up to date in case you are asked to reprioritize tasks. Data set number six, absences. If you work in a small team, it's easy to say who's at work and who's absent. But what if you're managing a team of 50 or more? Keeping track of your team members becomes much more difficult. Enter absence report. The absence export provides an overview of employee absences. Not only does it show which employees have been absent and for how long, but it also includes information about the type of absence, whether they've been sick, on a business trip, vacation, or something else. The absence report is of great help to accountants when calculating employee salaries, as they can quickly filter out employees who have taken sick leave, unpaid vacation days, or other reasons. The export is also often used by project managers who can see in advance which employees are going to be absent and for how long. That makes project planning much more organized and effective. Dataset number seven, work schedules. The work schedules export shows all the appointed shifts for the selected team members and their arrival times, productivity data, and total hours worked. As you create the export, you can select the employees and the time period you want this information for. Bear in mind that this export only will have data if you set up the desk times work schedules feature, the built-in feature for shift planning, which is particularly useful to managers who need to plan shifts for tens of people every month. The work schedules export has several uses. For example, you can use this report to see how many shifts each of your team members have worked, which will make it easy to calculate their pay, how many hours are already scheduled for the selected employees so that you can control how many hours a month your shift workers work, which shift workers arrive on time and which are late, and who are your most productive shift workers and who might need some extra training. Data set number eight, overtime. Finally, there's the overtime export, which shows how much overtime the selected team members have worked in the selected period of time. A little bit of overtime never hurt anybody. However, if some of your employees work extensively long hours, that can not only negatively affect their productivity, but also increase company costs because of the overtime rate cannot be less than a time and a half of an employee's regular rate of pay. The overtime export will show you who are the employees who are regularly working overtime so that you can take action. For example, you can either redistribute the particular employee's tasks to other team members, that way reducing their workload, or you can have a chat with the person about their time management skills. That's it. Uh, here are the types of exports you can create and download from DeskTime. Which type of export do you find the most useful? Let us know in the comments under this video. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive a notification when we add new video content. See you soon again.